Good morning, Aries. How's it going? Let's see what the universe has in store for you today. Uh, <clears throat> I have fucking all my lights everywhere because I don't know how to set them up. I mean, I know how to set them up, but I don't know how I want them set up. So it's like, I'm just going to throw them in a random fucking light mess and then just deal with it later. So, yeah. You're going to be here for witnessing that. Honestly, I mean, I don't know. I need to find a way to adjust the lighting in here. It's not so intense. I don't know. I feel like since Sagittarius got rid of my lights, like, lighting in here is just like, but whatever. <laughs> you know, who's complaining? <clears throat> I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Mine was a little anticlimactic, <laughs> you know, just making food and watching TikTok videos. I mean, not on my phone or anything. I'm not a fan of TikTok, but like they had like a compilation on the TV. My, my biggest critique with TikTok is that it's always like, ah, 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 and I'm like, dude, why? Why do you have to be so fucking obnoxious? I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a parrot and I'm just, like, so used to that constant, like, that I'm just like, ah, no, <laughs> like, no thank you, I do not want to be around the obnoxious noise. Um, <clears throat> alright, so, Queen of Discs in Reverse. Um, it's like... To me, I'm seeing somebody who's not very responsible with their money. Um, probably like out hyper spending, you know. Um, they're not really satisfied. So this kind of goes with like retail therapy because you got the the ten of cups in reverse, right? And that's like it's like refusing to reach your next cycle. Also, it's like you're not satisfied with. With a lot. So, okay. Let's... Um, seven of Discs. Uh, this represents failure. So, like... One thing I would like to mention, too, is, like, any failures that you may be experiencing, they're kind of like stepping stones to greatness, you know? Sometimes we have to fail a thousand fucking times before we get there. Um, <clears throat> happiness in reverse... This is very sad. Nine of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. Queen of Dis it's like it's like you're you're shopping and spending money as a way, as a means to like comfort yourself in this time. That's what I'm like seeing here. It's like it's kind of sad. <laughs> um I mean it's better than drugs unless you're spending money on drugs, which I doubt that doesn't I don't feel that energy here and I do pick up on that energy with Scorpio sometimes <laughs> like um yeah so we have nine of swords in reverse cruelty in reverse so this is like with the failure and then the cruelty in reverse I would say this seems like a a relationship came to an end right and, um, you're not, like, happy or satisfied with that outcome. And you're spending a lot of money as a result. Yeah, we have got ten of discs in reverse. This is wealth in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you lost a lot. This almost feels like divorce energy. Uh, <clears throat> with how much, how much is lost here. Um... The star in reverse, um, not really reaching out for the magic, not really, like, and the star card it is also, um, it's also the Aquarius card in tarot, so, you know, um, when that's in reverse, it's kind of like the colder side of the Aquarian, it's not the lively like love love bearing aquarium 
this is like somebody who's just like shut the fuck up. Um, not reaching anymore. Not trying anymore. Um. Hmm. This is very sad energy, bro. I don't like this. You know, it could be like you lost a lot of money due to Black Friday. I mean, shit. Cards pick up on an instantaneous mind shift, right? So as soon as you switch paths, then the path is written a different way, right? If you go out and you start spending and like crazy, you know. Alright, so we have two of wands. This is like wanting to have dominion over somebody. Um, I don't know if this is your energy or somebody else's energy toward you. But somebody here wanted to have dominion, right? They wanted to have full control of the situation. Um, Ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, so they're... It's like this situation is failing, it's coming to completion, but somebody ain't letting go, right? Somebody keeps, like, pushing the buttons, trying to keep this up, and it's like the universe is saying, like, if you hold on to this, you're just gonna be met with more failure, more disappointment, more, like, blessing blocks, um, because this is, like, futile. The situation just looks... Futile. This could be friends and family as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a breakup. Um, I just feel that energy in this. Like, somebody doesn't want to end this connection, even though it's, like, going nowhere. <laughs> I don't know. Um, wait a second. Okay, so we have the completion, and then we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this is two very different energies so it's like one person wants this to end and the other person doesn't want this to end right um i would say the one who wants dominion the one who wants the power I would say that they are the ones that don't want this to end, right? Because they still feel like there's something to be taken out of this connection, right? Maybe it's money. Maybe it is money. And that's why you're, you're struggling to hold on to money. Because this connection is fucking stifling you there in that way. Um, three of wands in reverse. Um, that's like a lack of virtue. Um, I also, oftentimes when I see things like Three of Swords and Three of Wands, I get this, like, weird feeling of, like, third party, right? So it could be, like, they could be off, like, like, shit-talking, you know? Like, they're, they're off, like, you know, spinning their webs of lies or something. It just feels like... This is somebody who lacks virtue, who wants dominion, who doesn't want this to end, and they're just, like, spreading gossip and rumors, right? It's really the energy I'm picking up. I'm gonna, um, <clears throat> pull out my Lightseer's deck and see what this one has to say about it. Um, because... Yeah, <laughs> I want to know which side of this you're on, right? So, <clears throat> let's clarify. Which side is Aries on? <laughs> like, alright, we're going to clarify Aries energy, and then after that, we will clarify this connection's energy, right? Like, is this friend? Is this family? Is this relationship, situationship energy? What is
is it? Um, I mean, because there's not any particular card here saying it must be romantic. But it's like, this connection is failing and coming to completion, you know? Alright, I think I see you more clearly now. <laughs> um, Alright, so when I asked for clarification on who you were in this, the first card out <clears throat> was this King of Wands, right? Um, King of Wands is somebody who is willing to stand on their own, somebody who is seeking out their own personal power. Um, we also have Justice. Um, means, meaning a restoration of balance, and whoever tried to have dominion over you, this person who lacks virtue, this person who was maybe cruel to you in the past, um, they're getting their karma, <laughs> you know, karma's coming with her sword, and she is like, I'm gonna fuck you up, whoever messes with, you know, the balance, because that's really who karma comes after, right, people who don't ebb with the flow. Then we have Seven of Pentacles, right? So it's like you're working on growing your wealth. It's like, I feel like this connection was taking money out of you. <laughs> like it was, you know, sometimes certain friendships just seem expensive as fuck. Like you can't hang out with them unless you're spending like a shit ton of money at the bar or you're doing, uh, got a hair in my eyeball. Um, <clears throat> Or, you know, just certain people that you just have to, like, always feel like you're spending money with. I feel like c cutting out that connection will really help you with, like, growing your own wealth. <clears throat> Four of Cups. Um, yeah, you were... It's like, in within this connection, you stop seeing the magic in life, right? You, you just, you're out here looking into the mundane. Well, somebody's over here offering you this cup of magic and you're like, eh, I'm just going to look at this ordinary shit over here. <laughs> like, you know, and it's kind of, it's kind of sad. Um, yeah, the high priestess in reverse, it's like your, your third eye needs some opening, bro. You need to do some meditation. You need to find that magic again. Um... Ace of Swords, yeah, there were, it's like you really had to ponder this, or you have to ponder this decision a lot. I feel like right now you're making the decision to kind of cut the cord here, um, because, like, yeah, like, they definitely don't seem like they want to, but it seems like an ulterior motive, right? Like, there's an agenda there, there's a, an agenda that they're holding on to, right? Um... You had to go through your fucking spirals and you're like, fuck, am I crazy or is this dead? <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, Nine of Swords. This is like, Nine represents like coming towards the completion and master of like a karmic cycle. Or a cycle. And then Swords is like cord cutting, communication. Like, you know, it's. It's very indicative of ending this cycle, right? And being sad about it. Like, like you, it's not an easy decision to be made, right? But you're tired of just throwing your love away, right? You're tired of throwing away all your, it's like, that's what it feels like when you hang out with this person. Like, like it feels like you have all this love to give, but you're just fucking throwing it down the goddamn drain, right? Whenever you're hanging out with them, you're like, they don't, they don't get it, they don't want it. Like, <laughs> they don't understand it. 
Um, the chariot in reverse. Yeah, so like, I feel like there's just no progress within this connection. There's no movement. Um, it's like the universe halts all blessings. Um, then we have the ace of wands. Wait a second. Because you were in this king of wands energy, right? Um, which is very similar to this ace of wands. This is getting in touch with your third eye. And maybe you are listening to your third eye and getting in touch with your inner guidance. Because I didn't realize how this pre high priestess in reverse, this is very opposite energy of you, right? This is somebody who's not getting in touch with their third eye. Somebody who's not, like, you know, I see this. It's like masculine energy on this side that's like very... I'm getting in touch with myself. I'm standing on my own two feet. Da, 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 da. And then over here, we have this feminine energy that's just like, I'm not doing the work. I'm not seeking progress. I'm not seeking change. You know, it's like, ah, uh, okay. There's a whole thing here. <laughs> um, let me see. What should you do? Right? That's really what we need to know. What should you do? Um, I feel like you know what you should do. You should just walk the fuck away. Um, this might not be easy. This could be, like, roommates. Who knows? This could just be, like, a situation that is hard as fuck to get out of, right? And, like, say you guys had a lease together or something. Break that motherfucking lease. Save up them, them pennies and <laughs> break that fucking lease, you know? Um... <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta. Uh, Cause whomever this other energy is, they just they're not progressing. Alright, so we have release in reverse. Um, yeah, it's hard to release. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to let go. Oh, and I, by the way, when I mentioned the feminine and masculine energies earlier, that does not necessarily mean male or female. That's just the energy that is portrayed through the cards, you know, for a specific description of the person. But that does not necessarily mean shit about their gender, okay? Like, this high priestess could very well be a masculine energy. This king of wands could very well be a female energy. I've been king of wands several times, to be honest. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Alright. So, somebody's... Somebody wants this situation to end. Somebody else doesn't want this situation to end. Both of y'all are struggling to have it actually end. But we have this completion card, right? And so I feel like this release here is it, the release in reverse and the chariot in reverse is almost like a refusal to move forward. Um, even when the, when the cycle completes. You know, it's like a refusal to drop the subject right i've been through that shit night watch they might be stalking you on like social media um they might be observing what you're doing um now that that's a thing <laughs> you know like i feel like everyone's getting fucking stalked these days um a wild at heart in reverse um somebody here feels domesticated um like, they're not able to fully express themselves. They're not able to fully be themselves. They, don't, they just straight up don't feel like themselves anymore. And, um, it could be because you're with a psychic vampire. I don't know. <laughs> Suck in the fucking life right out of you. Um, honestly, like, and vampires don't fucking just let go of their prey, you know? They, like, want to suck your blown, blown bone dry. Um, and if you're not, um, if you're not very strong 
in the leaving aspect, they will sucker you back in and they can take some more, you know? And it's just how this fucking thing goes. Um, I don't know. I almost feel like it's like it's narcissistic. But like they have this expectation that you owe it to them to be with them, right? That it's like you you belong to them, right? In their mind, they feel that, and it's like a human cannot fucking belong to you. That's slavery. <laughs> That's gross. No. <laughs> um, but this feels like servitude a little bit right like this feels like they just feel like you fucking belong to them all your outcomes belong to them um we have independence right this is somebody who wants to really get out and into their independence and maybe maybe you had to sacrifice your wild side in order to achieve that right you're like okay it's time to grow up it's time to get into action here um i feel like there's like, you're planning an escape route right now. I feel like it's heavily on your mind. You know? This... There's no magic in this connection, right? And you feel that. And it's very fucking strong for you. Well, I don't know, dude. All I can say is... Super secret savings account. Don't fucking touch it. <laughs> Put money in it and don't fucking touch it. Okay? Um, start imagining, like, start trying to have days, like, where you just pretend like you're not with them. Right? Like, not in the sense of, like, where you go out and cheat or whatever, you know, but, like, imagine life without them. Like, really fathom it. Fathom you know, having a morning without them. Like, even if they're right there, just, like, put it in your head. Like, okay, so I'm waking up all alone. What would I do then? Um, honestly, like, and I'm an Aquarius, so I don't know how heavily you would relate to me on this aspect. But I know that I always kind of sleep better at night knowing that nobody's using me, you know? I kind of sleep better at night know, knowing that, like, nobody feels like they own me or control me. Um, it's like shit. Even when I have to, like, start over and, like, and completely rebuild myself, it's like, I've done that before. Okay, like, I'll, I'll do it again. It's fine. Um, and I really... I don't know, I just do it, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot, um, it's a lot of fucking work, but, like, nothing is worse than not having peace of mind, right, and when you leave these situationships behind, you get that, <laughs> these friendships and whatnot, I gotta go wash my hands now, but, yeah, so, like, get your, Get your ducks in a row. Feel it out. <laughs> be it out. You know? Like, don't be afraid to to live as yourself. Like, fully. You don't need fucking anybody. Um, we live in a beautiful fucking time for that, right? Like, shit. You want a roommate? Go on Craigslist. <laughs> like, there is a way out. You just must look for the door. <laughs> you know? And be emotionally prepared for that. Because if this is a relationship thing, um, one of my biggest pieces of advice is, like, also imagine them moving on. And I know you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's like, no, really, though. Because, like, for me, when I was getting out of my last relationship, just keeping it in my mind that not only is that a possibility, that's a probability. You know, as soon as I leave... He could have another girl in there within a week, right? And probably does, you know? Like, who knows? Um, But I had to know that, like, inside of myself, I wasn't going to be freaking out about that. That wasn't going to be an issue for me. I was just going to know it and be cool with it because I know that I have, like, a bigger purpose here. I'm not meant for these mortal-ass people that want to play games, you know? Just bottom line. Um, and neither are you, 
You know, don't play games. Don't be with temporary ass people. You can tell by their energy if they're temporary, you know? You can tell by how they make you feel if they're temporary. Um, people who last forever make you feel good every, every time that you're around them, you know? And even in an argument, you feel like something was accomplished, even if the argument sucked, <laughs> you know? It's like something was accomplished by it. It wasn't just this trivial, like, in vain, just yelling, yelling match, right? It's like you were heard, they were heard, communication was made, changes were made, you know? It's like, like, you can just feel the difference between something that would last and something that wouldn't. Um, and the same with friendships, though. Friendships feel very similar in that aspect. Um, especially if they're closer friendships, right? Um, so, you know, take care of your energy. Take care of yourself. Really feel it out and be like, is this a forever thing or is it not? Is you is or is you ain't my baby, you know? <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys. Namaste. Have a great day. I'm going to go wash my hands and, um, yes, yeah, so get started. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>